<laughs> Dang. Hey guys, this is um, Darcy again, back with I think it's the third podcast. This is going to be a bit late because my day got um, marked around, but today I got, did some filming and I did the podcast with um, a guy I named Andre Daniels. He's going to introduce himself, but um, check him out. He's a great guy. He, he's a philosopher, independent artist, um, really good um He has a really good mind and stuff like that. Worth checking out. Um, yeah, so listen to the podcast, we talk about a few things, or he does, really. And then we're going to go around Reddit, you know, pretty much, so chill out, guys, enjoy. Bye. This is... Alright, my name is uh, Andre Daniels, aka Iceman Heretic. Um, I, my thing is to share as much knowledge um about black history um to uplift um people of african descent uh whilst breaking down the system of capitalism fascism um white christianity eurocentric religious dogmatic systems and islam uh um these are new religions um and look at news read the paper and and try and understand how we have a corrupt body politic um, transnationals that made their money from slavery and refused to uh, pay reparations and I just try and break down as much stuff and share as much knowledge as possible so that uh, we can deconstruct and even destroy this current system that we're we're confined by um, learn from it use the good part parts and then um, implement new um, progressive strategies that uplift all of humanity. Okay, it's back recording. Oh, it is. Okay, so um, what kind of books growing up, or what kind of books influenced you to, to start reading about all this stuff? Um, actually, the 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 first time I found. It, I was on a bus actually when I was about nine or ten, and I found a university student's notebook, and it had a whole bunch of philosophers in the notebook, and I started reading um, from memory. It was Wittgenstein that was there, and, and he's German, isn't he? Yeah, and not that I can remember much Wittgenstein, but I remember him talking about certain things like, you know. Uh, transforming communication and entering new paradigms. Anyway, I remember reading this stuff and it was like magic. I was like, how do they know this stuff? Where does this knowledge come from? Which, of course, is epistemology. And um, always sort of that was like it sparked an interest. Um, but I was a terrible student and I was completely brainwashed and addicted to TV, which got in the way, of course, of developing my mind and reading and what got in the way of course is watching stupid superhero movies and James Bonds and all of these white superheroes um, of course I'm not white and how great white people were and white civilization was um, and that got in the way and then life goes on and there's all these different things that sort of link up but one of the biggest influences was I happened to be on a billionaire's yacht going over from the south of France to um, not Arabia but the Middle East and we were sailing over for the Grand Prix and you were uh, just there for holidays and stuff like that or no I was a chef so I used to work on, yeah. on yachts in the south of France as a chef mm -hmm. um, and Every so often, and it was a very hard job. I hated it. I wasn't very good at it, and I couldn't cook to my best ability. So the Grand Prix was on in, in uh, Monaco, was it? No, it's in uh, Monaco, but there's another one in in um, in. It's not Qatar. I can't remember where it is. But yeah, so like the top of Africa or Middle East. Middle East, yeah. you know, near Arabia, Qatar. Um, you know where they have Davos. Uh, these places that are basically desert um, anyway so we were, we were sailing over and I kept seeing this thing this this reoccurring 
uh, thing about ayahuasca. Mm -hmm. And ayahuasca is like a, an ancient um, medicine that the shamans give you in the uh, Amazon. And when you have Amazon, uh, sorry, when you have ayahuasca, um, it's a brew that takes three days to make. And when you have it, you have a uh, what they call a transdimensional experience, where the consciousness of the planet Pachamama or Mother Ayahuasca speaks to you. And everybody that goes through this initiation deals with this every everybody has a, uh, the experience of a woman speaking to them so you drink this liquor and within 45 minutes there's a woman speaking to you and what she does is she breaks down your personality and it's really confronting uh, like it can be terrifying some people don't do it because it's so scary um, so I went and did that over a period of two weeks and sorry to interrupt, but there's even been studies that um, I, I think some, maybe someone in Israel, I'm not too sure, but of seen if Moses was on drugs when he saw the burning bush. Yeah, he was, just, he was on some kind yeah, of bush. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's just a side piece that there's there's been studies of if Moses was on drugs, if he saw the burning bush for to help people get keep in contact context. So, well, yeah. if Moses even existed. Yeah, that's if he existed and it happened. So um, Moses, of course, was, you know, a an orphan in a matrilineal system. That is, you could only become a pharaoh if you knew who your mother was. Mm -hmm. Now, given Moses was found by um, the pharaoh's wife, he couldn't become a king mm -hmm. or a pharaoh. So I don't think it's any coincidence that he was the first patriarch to, pre to create um, a patriarchal system within a religious system so he could become king or a leader of the people. Mm -hmm. But the whole story is a lie because that story suggests that a bunch of Jews were slaves to the Pharaoh to build the pyramids. But the pyramids are a work of art. There's no way it was a bunch of slaves. That, that, that Their whole society was based on looking at nature as an expression of God to and then honor that by um, building um, pyramids uh, which pertain to the uh, female breast and also um, ma uh, materiality coming into being from pure consciousness that is pregnancy so anyway so the Moses story is full of flaws lies and um, yeah, I mean that Bible has been changed that many times. You, you can't trust it. When they um, the part of the Jewish history is that they told the Torah through like oral stories and spoken word and person to person. Well, yeah, because oral history was the oral history. Yeah, oral hi uh, yeah, that, I mean, oral tradition. Large, sorry, yeah, the last portion of the history was that they didn't write it down in recorded history. The Jewish history. Well, yeah. the, the Jewish history, I mean, I haven't, look, the, the, the original source documents for how humanity came into being, where we came from, is those hieroglyphics. Mm. Those hieroglyphics and papyri that have been found are far more enriching and humane than any following Bible. Mm. Um, you know, the Tetragamatron, the Torah, this is all based on what the Egyptians, mm -hmm. once called the Comitians, um, discovered or, or maintain, uh, maintain, you know, their whole system is a spiritual system. Mm -hmm. So this whole holy city rubbish and this whole... Jerusalem is the holy city, and um, Jacob, uh, it was was the, the man that beat up the angel. I mean, this is a, a human being that beats up a superhuman angel, and then is called, becomes Israel, mm. and names and Israel, 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 Israel. Yeah. right? I mean, what a load of shit. Yeah. Can, can anybody really believe this superhero story, literally? Mm. 
well, yeah, we've got 93 million uh, evangelical mm -hmm. fundamentalist Christians that believe a man beat up an angel and God loved him so much that he said, now you've got Israel. Mm. I mean, it's the most ridiculous story. Yeah, I think the English meaning of that word is like, Israel means like wrestling with God or something, or fighting with God. Israel like yeah. is a conglomerate mm. of different Egyptian gods and goddesses. Yeah. And the gods and goddesses weren't literal gods and goddesses. Mm. They were, they, they are elements of nature and those elements of nature are elements of the creator, mm. like you and me. Mm. So, is is a, a reference to Isis, which is who the Christians call Eve, but it's the feminine principle that b brought materiality into being. So mm. if you look at the microcosm, a woman brings energy um, into being in her womb, and then each of us become a material mm constructs of unconscious mm. um, energy right so uh, you know we are a deific unit of the creator mm. right now that's a much more humane way of looking at each other as brothers and sisters versus oh the Zionist or the or the um, Jewish the white Jewish people may I add are the chosen people mm. which what father does that would you, I, if you were my son, if I had two sons, I'd say, well, you're chosen, but you're not. Mm. Who does that? Mm. So their God, it's a ridiculous story, <laughs> um, which is based on bigotry, favoritism, fascism. It's, it's yeah. a stupid story. Okay. So Israel, yeah. and then Ra is based on Amun Ra, which is the sun. Mm. And the sun is what gives sustenance to this planet, mm. which, which feeds the vegetation and animals mm. so that we can eat to feed the temple of man that is our bodies mm. and l is a reference i think to angel i haven't quite found what l is because you have michael angelo um raphael i think l is um what would be the more baser elements of um the creator's um parts of nature mm. so for example the, the best way to 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 think about this is if we're all one and quantum mechanics says we're all one then there is a source a creator a, a the one but this is where mathematics comes in where we have fractions because then you split the one into mm -hmm. many so if the one is split into many which makes up the one mm -hmm. like a bunch of flowers you have a bunch of flowers but each flower mm -hmm. is split up and then you've got the leaves that are split up that sort of gives you or us an indication of reality mm. of God because everything's separate but it's all one yeah I think um, it's been anthropology anthropology studies where how they determine where race and accents is depending on the your immediate environment in earth sort of thing like if like in the same sort of thing with culture like cultures learn not inherent but race and accent like yeah you, you, spoke, you speak in accent is depending on where you actually physically grew up mm. sort of thing mm. like um like a, a canadian per, like a canadian per parent like a dog like a 30 year old canadian can move to australia have a kid and that kid can grow up to be 15 their accent's going to be completely different accents mm. now, i think some anthropology studies determine like not not as so much now because people's dna and genes are so strong mm. that it's, it's, it's easy to, to transfer your own personal race to your child, your children's. But I think they've made some studies like the origins of race heavily depending on the, the physical environments of where you grew up mm. as well. So it, if it wasn't for like the separation of people you know, on land mass, it's, there's this sort of connection as you to saying with mathematics, and, but it being fractured throughout. Yeah, yes, um, if, if, that, if, if, if I make sense and stuff like that, yeah. Um, well, the, if, if I make so if that relates or intertwines somehow. Well, if if if, if we're going to look at right, there's only yeah. one race, the yeah. human race. Yeah. And then there's elements within that race, different yeah. phenotypes. Like we yeah. all have a different look. Yeah. Right. Now, now I think some anthropology. What I'm saying, anthropology studies have found that out, like through over time. I think recently they found that. Um, like Eskimos or 
Native North Americans, I'm talking about from like Canada upwards, um, were originally from Serbia and then some, some nomadic tribes around Serbia and Russia, that they look exactly like Eskimos mm. sort of thing. So they've been that sort of, if that makes sense. They, yeah. They, 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 they respawn from one people, but through history they've ventured off and anthropology studies have decided like you're the winds, the temperature, up or down land mass, and you need to help determine, like, you know, in relation to the sun, to the to night time. Yeah, stuff consciousness like that, yeah. is a product of yeah. your environment. Yeah. And culture is a product of uh, uh, consciousness um, creates culture, mm -hmm. which is a product of your environment. Yeah. So in, in the in the the African American community and the diaspora mm -hmm. looked at well, how did white people come into existence? Mm -hmm. Which is my mother's people, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, where did humanity come from? Mm -hmm. So what we found is that the oldest fossils of men are in Africa, mm -hmm. two hundred and twenty thousand years yeah. old, and the oldest of uh, of Europeans is twenty five thousand mm -hmm. years old. And so how did white people come into being? Well, if black people were the first on the planet, because you need to be in a warm temperature, yeah. you need to be in a hot temperature that has an environment that is, um, that is, um, has a lot of sustenance mm. and vegetation yeah. and food, yeah. then it's logical to say that black people, that Africa was where people came from. Yeah. That's where the yeah. oldest fossils have been yeah. found, right? Yeah. Even the indigenous here, um, are 85, they say is 85,000 mm. years old. Mm. Now in Africa, they've got the most diverse um, genome, uh, 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 genetics. Yeah. So then how did white people come into being? Well, the only way white people can come into being is through the genetic mutation of albinism. Yeah. So if you go from South Africa to all the way to North through Asia, into the Middle East, it, it's, it's obviously the, the people's skin tone obviously gets lighter as they go through the north. Changes. It changes. And, you know, the, obviously the Middle East connects to Asia and then, you know, parts of Russia and parts mm. of that sort of thing. Mm. Um, and I think it's, it's a bit known that at some point that all the countries were c connected and throughout time it separates. There's, easy, there's, easy, there's um, even parts of, like, in the central India, parts of India, there's some still lost in African tribes that have been mm. really isolated. And Thailand. And Thailand too as well, like, I think if they call the my pronunciation is really poor. I think it's recently the, the Jaro, where their first contact with the outside world in India was 1998, mm. and I think it was illegal till 2012 for any any sort of interaction between the two. Mm. But if you look at the Jaro, it's their skin tone is is pretty much as if they were plucked from Africa, mm. but because of their it's a different obviously different location, like India's far away now from Africa, there's some of their facial features looks a bit like if they were actually Indian. Mm. So there's some evidence there's like African tribes in, in central India and there's recently the Jaro as well. Mm. So like a lot of this stuff just is still, like you just said, was it Thailand? Mm. But yeah, like a lot of this still plucked in. Mm. You know, it's, mm. it's really, really interesting. Yeah, there's, yeah. so the book, that I read that there's a few. There's Chaik Anta Dio who did uh, UV uh, tests mm -hmm. on ancient. Because what, what with white supremacy, with colonialism, mm -hmm. what Europeans have done is demeaned everything. Mm -hmm. They've demeaned the whole spiritual system, taken a literal again mm -hmm. interpretation like this whole story mm -hmm. about Jesus, taken a literal interpretation, then changed the book that isn't even about Europeans. Mm -hmm. And then gone around and started telling Africans about how it is. Mm -hmm. And some of the brainwashed Africans that haven't been edu educated believe in this white Jesus mm -hmm. story. Mm -hmm. Right? There's more Christians in Nigeria than anywhere else in the world. Mm -hmm. it's just, yeah, it's the funny thing. It's like, is it Thailand, the, 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 the world's most heaviest Muslim population as well? Or is it Indonesia or something? Indonesia. Wait. Uh, actually, there's more... Muslims and Christians in Africa than anywhere else in the world. Yeah, yeah. Right? This binary system of looking at how reality came into mm. being is retarded. Mm. 
This is a stupid way of looking at it. The original Africans born in the Nile Valley regions, because the, the river in the Nile Valley regions, the Nile itself, is the biggest river in the world, right, that goes up to the uh, pyramids. It doesn't run north to south. It runs from the south of Africa, which used to be called modern but Matopia, I think, from the south up to the north. So that's the stream's direction. That's the, that's the river's direction. That's, yeah. Right, so it's counterintuitive, right? Yeah. And that river also happens to mimic Orion's belt, the Milky Way. Mm -hmm. So they were looking at the river, and then they're looking at stars, and, they, and then they said, this is emblematic of how reality is coming to be. The stars are showing us where we came yeah. from. So we came from the stars, but we also came from this river, yeah. right? So that's why the Nile was seen as um, a female, yeah. because we come from water, right? Yeah. Reproduction, reproduction and stuff. That's it. Yeah. So we come from water. So they had a whole system, a beautiful, elegant, ornate, scientific yeah. astrology and astronomy were yeah. the same because they showed us where, what our reality was and how we came into being. So what, what, what we think happened is the genetic mutation of albinism, which created white people. Mm -hmm. Africans moved north yeah. to Egypt, Nubia, all of these places moved north and spread out mm. um, and created the pyramids. Mm. And the pyramids, one of the first step pyramids was in Uganda, mm. right, by a guy called Imhotep. Mm. And Imhotep was the father of medicine. He was a black man, not Hippocrates. You know when you hear mm. the, the Hippocratic Oath and it's, well, it was the Greeks. No, the Greeks trained in Egypt. Mm. That's where they got, Pythagoras got his whole mathematics. We know that because it's all over the goddamn pyramids. Mm -hmm. um, but what's happened with colonization is to justify the theft of African resource-rich countries, um, you have to demean the people. Mm -hmm. That's what racism is. If you demean the people, then you can go, see, we, we, these people are backward, mm -hmm. right? And then when you say, uh, didn't the Africans build the pyramids? They go, no, 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 we did it. Everybody thinks Egypt is in Europe, right? Mm. It's in Africa. Do people actually think that? If I say to you, you know how many people have said, where is Egypt? And they go, isn't it somewhere in, in, in Europe? Like, because yeah. it's so readily, it's easy to get there. Yeah. I, I can understand when people say the Middle East. I can kind of understand why. And the Middle East that, yeah. it isn't even the Middle East. Yeah. It's not even... A, that term, it's Asia Minor. Yeah. The Middle East doesn't exist. It is a it is a bridge from Africa mm. to yeah, Asia, Asia Minor, yeah. right? Um, which is why, like you, sometimes if you look at Riza mm. from Wu Tang Clan, he looks like a Chinese man, mm. right? Now you, if you just looked at him and put him into my shade, mm. he certainly looked Chinese. Mm. So when you look at a lot of black people, sometimes I look at black people, like my father's eyes were sort of Asia, 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 almost Asian. Mm. In terms of, I mean, like Chinese, Japanese, Korean kind of eyes, right? And that's because Asians, like every other culture, is born of Africans. Mm. So my mum's people, so what happened with albinism and the lightening of skin and going to less tropical zones mm. is a, light, a lightening of skin, mm. right? And then moving over into Europe, if we, if we went over those Caucasus mountains mm. and then the winters came, mm. you're probably not going to go, I want to go back there. Mm. So we think that the prehistoric age was when um, white people were sort of multiplied mm. in a resource scarce environment. Now, if you're in a resource-scarce environment, mm. think about when you're hungry. Mm. If you're in a resource-scarce environment and you've got to get food, you create a survival of the, mm. of the fittest uh, modality, mm. which is capitalism. Mm. They're my resources. Yeah. There's even been um, historical radical, uh, records of um, Native American tribes. They go to war for that, simple, not for power, but they go, hang on, this is food supply from the buffaloes or wherever, but we got two or three other local tribes within horse riding distance. 
So they pretty much go to war to kill more of them, to mm. have more food for them, mm. if that makes sense. So mm. for them, their food was to... obviously to, When, yeah, though? Yeah. It was it during colonisation? war. So there's been records of the, like Native American tribes going to war with other Native... Just to kill like more of them, to have more food for mm. their own tribes. So mm. like, yeah, that's one of the figures... Well, what and out, what the Americans did yeah. is they killed all the buffaloes. Yeah. Have you seen the photos? Yeah. So they killed all the buffaloes, infected the First Nations with um, the pox, well, yeah. smallpox. Yeah. Gave them the blankets. Here, here's some blankets. It's yeah. cold this winter. Yeah. And killed them all. Yeah. And then there's the famous ghost dance. Yeah. Where, you know, magic, when you're in... It's what's happening in our society right now. Mm. Where... And that's what's happening with white Jesus. Mm. As soon as we see this threat that's imminent, mm. people go into a psychosis. Mm. That is, they're waiting for something magic to come along and save us, mm. like white Jesus. So what the, the Indians did, or the Native Americans, is they had a ghost dance mm. where they were calling their spirits to come and protect mm. them. And the Christians got scared. So what did the Christians go do? Shot them. Mm. All of them. Like thousands of them put them in, in yeah. mass graves. Yeah. And that was the ghost dance. Mm. I think it's been recent. Um, I, th I was actually, I can't remember which episode this is, but Joe Rogan had some guy on that studied American history really good. Mm. And he found documents of when um, the Europeans went into Native American tribes. The, the Europeans uh, thought they'd been kidnapped, taken hostage, and all that jazz. So when the their local version of their version of the police force, whatever, would find these Europeans with Native American tribes. The the people who went to Native American tribes didn't want to go back. That's right. Yeah, there's been records. They wanted to stay. to stay. They wanted to stay. Yeah. In fact, there's a guy called Professor Lowen, yeah. and his book is called Lies My Teacher Told Me, mm -hmm. and it's a brilliant book. I lent it to someone and didn't get it yeah, back. That's the case. That's why I don't have books, but yeah. um, you can watch him on C-SPAN. And he, he's written a number of books. There's also um, Howard Zinn. Yeah. He's the he's famous for it as well. Howard Zinn. Uh, yeah, um, like a People's History of America. People's yeah. History of, of America, uh, which is also brilliant. And when you read, I read uh, Lowen's Lies My Teacher Told Me. And they do, the, the what white co colonial educational systems have done is they twist the words yeah. like they say the settlers were then scalped yeah. so you assume because from all those cowboys and indians mm. movies that the settlers were white people yeah like more martyrs and stuff as well. and then what yeah. you find is the settlers are the the first nations who've yeah. been moved to another reservation mm. and then the cowboys have come in mm. the army and scalped them killed yeah. them all um, so they use the, they twist this, it's a lying culture. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, so in terms of where white people came from, if, if the birthplace of humanity is Africa, mm -hmm. we know where it's all stemmed from there. That's yeah, right. Yeah. So you can't then say chosen people. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Because if we're all deific units of creator, yeah come into being, yeah. then we're all chosen. Mm -hmm. We chose to come into this reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright, that'll, that'll be enough. I'll have a break. Uh, yeah. I'll do the intro later. Um, subreddits, they've got subreddits, which is their version of Facebook pages, but it's more specific, and people go to Reddit for specific things. Mm. And, um, it's really, I, I find it really hard to explain um, what they do. But there's a lot of things that you actually might find interesting in it, in where you can post stuff or get specific information and stuff like that. They've got, um, recently they've updated the 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 homepage I don't like it at all, but they've luckily for me they've kept their old website which just runs a lot better and quicker and faster so I always use this so pretty much this is the um, 
to to post things or to comment whatnot, you just have to sign up up around here. But they've got this thing called um. What's it? So I'll, I'll show you some basics and stuff like that. Um, ask Reddit. It's a subreddit, and that's how many members, like, you know, it's like their version of Facebook pages. Mm -hmm. So you just click on it. You can join it, and there's like a list and stuff. So pretty much, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a subreddit where you can like just ask whatever questions and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Whatever, whatever you want to watch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I saw this one. Yeah. So, when one of your movies that I did, I was trying to find subreddits to, to post the your movie on. So there's things like, I, I just wrote black people, black fellas, black videos and stuff like that to help her out. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things like here, like, you know, black fellas a place for all shades and stuff. Um, you know, something for poly, uh, black women. So I just click on this. There's a lot of you can find a lot of information and stuff like that. So, I paint, you know, as what you said, Trump asked about the pandemic. Um, civil rights and labor activists. Um, A. Philip Randolph. I don't know if you heard of that guy. You know, there's basic stuff like Donald Glover. Um, all this uh, really cool stuff. So if you've got information mm. yourself, you can you can log on. Um, the thing is with Facebook, it's it's um it's social, personal, and more mainstream. Mm. If that makes sense. But this is specific. Like nobody will come to the subreddit unless if they're interested in the stuff. Mm. And you have a lot more interactive community. Mm. Um, that, that's here's just one example. Um, shit politics. So, um, so the worst political commentary on Reddit, which is another word, why well, it's their um, shame of to saying, look, if you got your own commentary, here's a place you can go. Um, Like Australia, a dusty corner of uh, chewing the fat of Australian Australians. Um, uh, where is it? Bread tube. I'll have to find a bunch of subreddits for you when I get home. Mm. Um, Bread tube is gay. It's a place of new wave creators, journalists, artists making high quality content. It goes against the profane, prevailing winds of the internet. Politics, it, history, economics, media, free speech, film, criticism, philosophy, and anarchism. Um, anarchism, if you're into that. Um, so bread tube. I like this one because it's a good, good mixture of everything. So pretty much, um, like um, Chelsea, Joe Biden, Brad, Brady reportedly cuts social security and stuff like that. And this is actual proper thought out stuff as well. Mm. Um, so, sanitizer. Um, like socialism, socialism in Vietnam, working against the coronavirus. Um, uh, a thing about trans bodies and death. Um, cross... Christchurch uh, Christ shooting, spread of bigotry, and on my leftist. Um, do you know what I mean? There's mm. a lot of good stuff content. Um, and along the right here, of not all, but a lot of um, subreddits, it's similar stuff. Um, so this, you know, thing on Chomsky, Philosophy Tube, Airstrike, um, we'll just click on Philosophy Tube. Like, you do your own YouTube stuff as mm. well. So, here's a subreddit that you can post and your, your own links and stuff. Because um, so these people go to these subreddits for this in specific information, you know what I mean? Um, 
Um, it's all in a basic sub and it's like we'll go to film. So if you do, if you end up doing your own movie, you can just go to film here. And people post their own movies and stuff. Um, it's also for you, like um, you do your own music. You can just write in something like indie music that the artist done. And you can find your own subreddits for independent music. Um, it's another opinion thing. Um, so unpopular opinion. So So you can write your own pages and put it up here mm -hmm. as well. Um, and there's a lot of interaction and stuff. Like this guy here, he's got 26,700 likes from posting on this one subreddit. Um, where is it? On the where the t mainly where the title is of the subreddit is hot. So the most liked and viewed and interactive, the new ones. So the the most recent ones, rising controversial. Most subreddits will have. There, so you can separate the popular ones from, mm -hmm. on that specific subreddit page. Um, yeah. Like everything, like okay, we'll go to Black History. So we'll find um, right. Oh, you hit it. So Black History, that's specific for Black History. Mm -hmm. History that that will be more just a general world history. Mm -hmm. Well, it'll probably be white history, actually. Yeah, well, let's have a look, yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we say in the movement, yeah. why do we have to um, section it as black history, white history? Yeah. It's history. Yeah. So this is, like, where people post, like, you can put post links, like, if you find, like, a YouTube video that you like, you can go, I've got to share this around. You can post it, or text and post. So if you want to write your own point of view mm. you can write that or if you want to record yourself on YouTube and put the YouTube video mm. you do that you do that well, that makes it easier yeah so you, they get whatever so here's one like your favorite favorite Roman Empire and why Emperor ancient pandemics um, to the rest of the allies have involved in the, in the Warsaw uprising um, Knights of the Temple and Masonic groups do you know what I mean? So it's um. So there's a shitload on there. Yeah, and like I said, if if you if you wanted um, okay, we'll go African American. That's capital. African American. So here, um, featuring stories and issues and interests related to the African American community. Um, let's click on that. So if this is a subject and area of black history that you know a lot about, mm. here's a place that you can go and post stuff. And this is where I've been posting a lot of your videos that I've done with you as well. Mm. And I've actually read it. <coughs> There's a thing with Reddit. No no response is, is a good response. And literally from just with everything in general from Reddit. 98, 95% of the replies you get is just hate, like, you know, mm. you know, you know, fuck you or something like that. But from your videos, all of it's been really good. So for that to happen from this website, it's a really good response and stuff. Mm. Yeah. So like, it's just little things like poke, a dark history of the New Year's Day and American slavery, um, opinion on Thanksgiving, um, should racism be considered a national security threat? And as you can tell for this one, this black contemporary artist, black culture, black fashion, black love, black power, a uh, hundred black men. I don't know what that is, but do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah, so this, they give you a list of so other subreddits that's similar in tone and stuff like that. Mm. So you can get information. Um, if there's things that you don't know, like you, there's books or information, or areas or whatever, you can ask questions. Go and look this part. I need a book on this writer or mm, whatever, mm, mm. or look at this area, like, I don't know much about black history between 1950 and 1959. Mm. Can anyone direct me in the right area? Mm. You can even ask questions like that, mm. and they, you might get some responses and stuff. Um, I'm not too sure. There's this thing on the top left corner, my, my subreddits. When you sign up and have your own Reddit account, 
you can you can go to this little button here, join here mm. on the subreddit page, mm. or if you go through the the, the search bar, join. Yeah. join this is they, they provide a list for you, my subreddits, mm -hmm. so you don't have to go through the search bar. But I'm not too sure how many the maximum subreddits that will display oh, right, as okay. well. So, um. Yeah, so there's world news, there's philosophy videos, documentaries, interview videos, whatever. And I get, I've been getting a lot of responses from your videos through Reddit. Mm. And it's been really, really great sort of thing. Oh, really? Yeah. What did they say? Oh, they, this is one lady through my, well, this particular lady was actually through my Facebook page. I've got to, I've got to find her. But she's like, yeah, this is all, I can't believe these other people know about this stuff. And mm. it's be more forefront. Um... It, it, just, it, it just says that it feels like more real, do you know what I mean? Rather than a mainstream manufactured thing, video. Oh, right, okay, sort of yeah. Thing. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, so okay. Instead of okay. something like Vice were doing, it seems a bit more real to them. Real? Real. Oh, right, so okay. The way the video is done, the, you yourself, because they just, just with Vi this Vice, Vice, yeah, for example, it's all professionally done, manufactured and stuff mm. like that. That seems more like an edited highlighted thing mm. yeah I, you know, every time i watch by so i'm like they they i feel like they're sneaky different documentaries yeah okay so there's documentaries here i wish i put in your videos on a lot too it's a lot of good stuff here no so it's if if you obscure more obscure contemporary whatever more accurate Reddit provides really, really good stuff. You know, and um, a misc, and they separated the, the, the topics. So with this one, if I want to submit your videos, I there's something called a flare. So I, I, I put as film and entertainment or anthropology. I either use one of the two. And they've separated the, um, the flares, and that's how they're se separated, so they're subreddit. So instead of going through their main pages here, you, you want to look at something more of economics. It's a way to separate people's posts. So this will just pull up more specific economics and stuff like that. If, if all this makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So here's, um, instead of Facebook pages, you can go to Reddit and sort of thing. Mm. Um, but uh, just take, um, where is it? Um, on the right hand side, there's their specific um, rules for that subreddit. Mm -hmm. So just before you scan it, it just scan it. Um, Reddit, cause like I said with Reddit, it's um, more specific. Do you know what I mean? They want, they want specific things from specific places. Mm. So just have a rate of Edge up Reddit sort of thing, mm. yeah. But like Ooh. like this one, they, they require when you post something is like the, the title, the year, um, the length and stuff, and a brief description. So and you do it automatically. No, no, you just got to do it yourself. Otherwise, mm. they just delete your post or yeah. stuff yeah. like that. It's 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 yeah. They, they do stuff like that, but for different reasons from Facebook. Does mm. that make sense? So. Like this one's like, um, oh, world's greatest food markets in Mexico. So, you know, 2014. So I'll find some subreddits for you mm. and I'll put all the links that you might interest you. Mm. But just whenever you're ready, just it's you're better off searching for yourself mm. and all that. So if they're very good spots and stuff and to mm. start distributing your own work and thoughts and opinions and stuff. Um, and you get, you get a better interactive mm. interaction with your audience there. So th this is the popular Reddit page. So pretty much the most popular from all of the sites. So Germany, like this one, Germany confirms that Trump tried to buy firm work in you know what I mean? The Corona's vaccine. Um, 
state of a, state of emergency declared in Victoria. Um, U.S. government allegedly attempts to secure the, the coronavirus vaccine only for U.S. So the thing so is a, a good community for you. Things like even your bloodline is survived. <coughs> yeah. Cool. Cool. Just hope. Yeah, there you go. Sixteen minutes. Oh, I didn't know you could. Yeah.